Fly me to the moon. Let me play amongst the stars. Let me see what spring is like on Jupiter and Mars. In other words, hold my hand. In other words, baby, kiss me. Fill my heart with song. Friday, April 20th. Months have passed since we found them, and the days are slowly starting to blur together. My nights are filled with lucid dreams and shattered glass. And it's not just my nights, but my thoughts as well. My eyes burn with pictures of death and despair. My ears are deafened by the sounds of this wretched city I call home. But it matters not. I have become what I feared I had become. A nocturnal beam filled with rage. If I can't seek justice, how will I ever find it? Stop sending rookies we don't need. Nothing much we can do. Is that a name? Find out tomorrow morning. sorts of things here. Murderers, rapists, killers of all sorts. You have to close your heart to it. There's no room for empathy. Absolutely. I have trained and practiced for this opportunity. And I'm here to learn from the best. That's the spirit, Ivy. We have a few ongoing cases that need our attention, so it's time to put your skills to the test. And don't worry. We'll guide you through it. But just remember, observation is key. And trust your instincts. You have no time to babysit me. Thank you, Eric. Thank you, Desmond. So this is what we already know about the victim so far. Jonathan Chen, Ama Saleh. Two very unique people. And do they have any sort of relations? Any similarities whatsoever? Well, they both have been seeing a psychiatrist for the past six months. Mm -hmm. Wow. We have strong suspicions that the killer may have been amongst the people they worked closely with, one of them being their psychiatrist. Another thing, they both have unique scars, both of which the forensics have identified as being from a serrated knife. Uncommon weapon, but 
forensics have also identified them as not being the cause of death. The scars also indicate the killer as maybe being left-handed. Huh. That's messed up. How can we be so sure? You think maybe forensics got it wrong? I mean, serrated murderer would narrow down the search a bunch. All we know could have been the finishing blow. And how are you so sure? That's because they were not deep enough to reach any jugular veins. They were all superficial. But what about their psychiatrist? Why aren't we going after him if he's a prime suspect? Well, we wish. Mike Hawk, 38. I regard a psychiatrist of five years missing for three months now. A friend reported him missing when he found him to be unresponsive. His home showed no signs of a break-in, that is, everything was as it yet left it. Therefore, we believe he may have been taken while commuting to or at work. He was. His office would show signs of struggle. So, he ran away? Possibility, but the question still stands. Why? Well, he was probably guilty and afraid. I mean, his patients were murdered back to back. So, police. Hello. Yes, Lee speaking. I see. Mm -hmm. Got it. Thank you. Guys, we have a lead. Mike Hawk has just been spotted. He was seen in the industrial district. The department says he matches the description from the missing persons report. And it's our call now. Okay, um, well, so what now? The next day is we catch him by surprise. And we squeeze all the information from him. If he confesses to a murder, it's case closed. Are we bringing him back here? No. If he's in the industrial district, I know a place. Wait, wait, wait. But we should be following the standard operating procedures, which is- We just got a lead! We have no time for the damn procedure. So now, do you want to solve this case or not, rookie? Des, I know you're worried, okay? So let's not waste any more time, let's go. Fine. Ivy, you're coming. changed. It's gonna get messy. person kidnapped someone to talk but the person has been missing for three months and isn't suspicious such as yourself okay. let's start from the top i'm detective lee this is detective law the day you go back is a new recruit ivy adams again i'm not here to hurt you beast or the talk I, I i didn't do it i swear if it's because of them please you have to believe me I didn't do anything, I swear. Bro, you haven't even said shit yet. So you know about what happened and why we're here for you. Okay, I'm sorry I disappeared, but I swear on all that I believe, I didn't kill them. I had to quit my job. I had to run. But I didn't do anything, please. So why'd you quit? I felt like I was in danger. Something happened. You're not making your case here. 
been after Jonathan and Margo. Some guy broke into my office and he wore a mask. I, I couldn't see his face. He came in and started choking me. He was wearing gloves. But when he took them off, he had scars or tattoos. I, I, I don't remember. Then there were the calls every day. I was so scared. So I quit and I, I ran. You have to believe me, please. Do you know how stupid your story sounds? Hey, hey, Des, let him go. You know what, bro? Why don't you make it easier for all of us? Just tell us what you did to those two nut jobs, and we'll be on our merry way. Case closed. I told you already, I didn't do it. Let me go, please. I'm gonna need you now! He's gonna kill the only What if he's innocent? Have you ever considered the repercussions of killing an innocent man? Repercussions this, repercussions that. Justice will never be served if I have to think that way. I'm gonna kill him, man. No, Des, no, don't! Stop! Go after them. I know he's the killer. Mike is innocent. And if we don't find him soon... Mike will be a victim too. I know. I mean, I have my own doubts. But I almost don't want to believe it. commits a crime, they should be punished by the law. We have to catch and arrest him, Eric. I kind of don't want to. Maybe he's made mistakes, and somewhere deep down inside, he's still a good person. Do you really think he had any good intentions at all in all of this? It doesn't even matter anymore. He's killed people. And that's it. 
Well, no one kills for fun. Our first priority right now is to find Desmond. You are his partner, Eric. You surely must know somewhere he would have gone to hide or cool on anything. Desmond and I solved the first case. We went to a lake to celebrate. It's not far. We can drive. Desmond! Uh, took you guys long enough? I'm surprised you remember this place, Eric. We've been partners for six years, Desmond! Why? Uh, I thought we were one at heart. And you and I wanted to fight for justice. But you... You! I believed in you. And now it's time for you to face justice. So you figured it out. Good job, Eric. I'm impressed that you even accepted it. What do you mean? You know what I mean. And you? How did you figure it out? Well, first of all, you are left-handed, and your left hand in particular has scars, correct? Good girl. And what else? That day, when you choked Mike, he seemed to have recognized you. You were the one who broke into his office that day and scared him. He also mentioned something about being choked. And those marks don't look like normal scars. Those look like claw marks. You were the one who choked those other two. Bingo! Congratulations, you're not so bad after all, rookie. Guess what? You solved your first case. But why? Eric, those two nut jobs were psychopaths. You know what they were gonna do, right? I guess not. But guess what? This guy knows. Jonathan Chen and Ama Saleh. Two very disruptive and unstable people. They were planning a whole mass shootings everywhere. If I hadn't killed them, many would have died in their hands. It doesn't even matter. You killed them. I haven't even done anything yet. They're innocent. Innocent? So what would you do, huh? Would you let some kid die at their hands and then enforce your stupid laws on them? What kind of innocence is that? It's our law. We're supposed to protect it. We're detectives, not cops. We find the truth. If you ask me, two of lives in exchange of many, I see nothing wrong with that. What about him? What about Mike Falk? 
Why are you harming him? He knew. He knew about them and he chose to shut up anyway. He deserves to die. Tell me, Eric. What's wrong with picking one bad apple from the tree before it rots? Hmm? Let me finish off what we started. Don't move. Or I swear to God, that's when the next bullet won't miss. Oh, darling. You know you can't do that, right? Us detectives only shoot when our lives have been threatened. That's the law. You wouldn't want to break it now, would you? Hmm? Hmm? You were my partner! My brother! How could you? I trusted you! That's your problem, Eric. You trust too easily. <laughs> I'm doing the right thing, right? Huh? Ah! Mm. Mm. Thank <laughs> you.